Hey guys, today I thought I would just make this quick video about seed viability because I just had an experience where I sowed lots of seeds, these seeds here are peppermint seeds, I sowed a good chunk of them about a month ago and I didn't get a single seedling from it. So this would suggest that these seeds are not viable anymore. So when we talk about seed viability or seeds being viable or not viable, what this means is that if you place a seed in optimum conditions for this seed, so basically you give the seed the necessary conditions for germination, which is enough light and enough moisture or water and the correct temperature for germination, and this seed doesn't germinate, well then that would suggest that the seed is not viable. So basically this seed is dead and you're not going to get anything from it. So I did a little bit of research about how to find out whether a seed is viable or not. And the best way, the, the most accepted way to find out whether a seed is viable is through germination, basically whether they germinate or not. And as I said, because these babies didn't germinate at all, that would suggest that these seeds are not viable, that they're dead, that I ain't gonna get anything from them, and that I should just move on and get some new ones. So I thought before I throw these little ones away, I wanted to try out the seed floating test. So I know there are mixed opinions about whether this test actually works or not, but I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna give it a go. So what you do is you take your seeds and you get a glass of water like this and you simply pour um, a sample of your seeds, so not all of them, just a, like some of them, into the glass, give it a little shake and then wait for about 15 minutes to see whether the seeds float or whether they sink. So what will happen is, if the seed is viable, as in it's ready to germinate given the correct conditions, it's gonna sink to the bottom. It's believed that viable seeds sink because they're denser than dead seeds, because they actually contain something. Whether the dead seeds, the seeds that will float on the top, will basically be empty, or at least contain material that is dry. The reason that some people say that this test doesn't work, or it's not, it's not accurate, I think that's more the, the issue here, is that what you can get is some seeds, some viable seeds will sink. The ones that sink will always be viable, but the ones on the top can contain viable and non-viable seeds. So if you're using the seeds at the bottom, then you're gonna have no problems. But what can happen is if you just chuck all these ones on the top away, then you're potentially losing viable seeds. So it's not so accurate, but I just thought, I just wanna have a see and see if it works. So I'm gonna leave this for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and see what the deal is. Right, so we're back, that's been 15 minutes, and I'm looking at the seeds, and, ooh, not a single seed has sunk. So they've all floated. So the float test would suggest that all these seeds, or at least some of these seeds, are not viable. For some reason though, I'm kind of reluctant to give up on these seeds. I don't really know why. So rather than recycle them straight away, I am going to now move these into new conditions, which is the paper towel setup. So this is when you germinate seeds on paper towels rather than in um, soil or water. I'm gonna make a video about that actually with these seeds, so if you're interested in that, you can watch it. As far as the seed floating test goes, this would suggest that it works because we've been backed up by the fact that these seeds didn't germinate at all in the soil and they were given the correct conditions, putting them in the, in the water and none of them have sunk. So that would also suggest that they're not viable. So yeah, who knows? So thanks for watching guys uh, and I will see you in my next video.